Yeah. Take, like build that out, Yamish, because I think that's interesting. Like in the concept of like, okay, so on the Hill, like there's what what if the White House, if, if Schumer cloture fails, as we kind of all seem to think that that's probably the most likely scenario on Wednesday, they don't get it done. I mean, I don't think the, the White House is ready to pull up stake and not, you know, continue to try to find a way forward, right? Look for every White House official, including I would say probably um, Jen Zaki, and of course, maybe this is me in some ways hypothesizing about what they're going to say, but they're going to say, well, the Congress has to do what the Congress has to do. But the, at the end of the day, the deal is the deal. And the president, it feels still feels fairly confident that he is going to be able to get this through. But the White House has been very good at saying we aren't, he's not, he's no longer a Senator. It's one of their favorite lines. He's now president of the United States. He let the Senate do what the Senate's going to do. But you can, you're going to see behind the scenes, of course, a White House that is scrambling to figure out exactly what the Senate's doing <laughs> and to try to get the Senate to move along. Because the last thing the president wants is to see um, a vote, even if it's a, a, a wonky vote that might seem hard to understand from some people who maybe don't understand the word culture, which we're, of course, going to have to explain to people again and again this week. But when they're going to be able to say, OK, this wonky thing didn't, didn't happen, but the president is still on track to try to get these two bills through.